Hey, Tim Sykes here, and this is the sixth night of Hanukkah. This is your little present. I'm actually filming this on Hanukkah day number five, but we're already committed with gift number five, which is an hour-long free guide to using the new features on Stocks to Trade. But right now, there's a stock that's breaking down, and it's a very good lesson. So your sixth night of Hanukkah gift is teaching you this little trick that experienced traders pick up and newbie traders fall for time and again. And I want you to learn. Uh, before I get into it, just have to remind you, you have just a few days to watch my trader checklist guide. I've warned you so much in the year 2017. This guide, which is 11 hours, and I'm actually working on adding some more. That's why I'm stuffy every day because I'm filming two hours a day, three hours a day sometimes. Um, it's going to be a 20-hour guide, and it's going to be $500 in 2017. It's still going to be a good deal. But as of right now, if you're watching this in 2016, you can still watch my Trader Checklist guide for free. Go to Trader Checklist Guide, or no, TraderChecklist.com uh, is the URL. And then also we have these holiday sales on these newsletters and DVDs. And trust me, you want to take advantage of it. You want to be in my chat room. And this is exactly why. Um, we have two chat rooms. This is the Challenge chat room and this is the Tim Alerts chat room. But... I leave some commentary. Some of you guys don't really realize it. Um, it's not just about trades, okay? It's about market knowledge and knowing different patterns and rules. And so what I like doing is, you know, leaving commentary. Um, and you can see here my commentary where I basically said just a little while ago, where was it? Hmm. Oh, okay, here it was. Um, so I said this at 1.42 p.m. And I said, Gale is a potential dip buy, but not with this price action. Uh, it looks like a bouncing ball about to roll off the edge. Big bidders at 274 might get taken uh, and then free fall. Let me show you this. And I actually even said something sooner than that. Um, I said at 1.36 uh, I would not be long, Gale, as it looks like it's about to crack to the downside. That was at 1.36 p.m. Uh, that was right here. And it was flatlining right in here. And what you can't see, I probably should have been filming. I didn't know that it would be such a dead-on call. But what you couldn't see is even though the chart was flatlining here at 274, there was big, big bidders. And it was like 50,000 shares, like 60,000 shares, and it looked like, wait a minute, this is not necessarily flatlining. This might be bottoming. And I know quite a few people were long and thinking that this was going to bounce. Uh, you know, look, there's support all in here. It's still up 30%, or at the time it was up 40%. And you think that this is going to be a good dip buying opportunity. And it's a trap. It's a market market trap, okay? And experienced traders know not to get trapped. So when I leave commentary like this, I wouldn't be long. A lot of people came at me and like, Tim, you're stupid. This is perfect. It's the January effect is going to bounce. So then that's why I had to explain it. And I said, yes, Gale is a potential dip buy, but not with that price action. It's literally a bouncing ball about to roll off the edge. Big bidders at 274 might look secure, but when they get taken out, you get free fall. And that's exactly what's happened. And again, it's only dropped 20 cents. This isn't like Oh my God, I predicted this amazing thing. But it's the know-how of not getting trapped. And that is the kind of knowledge that I can try and pass down to you. That's why I love, you know, giving this kind of commentary in my chat room. And some people are like, holy shit, you called it spot on, blows my fucking mind. Awesome analysis, Tim, thank you. Um, if I knew what Tim knew, I'd quit my job. Dude calls it every time. And I corrected him. I said, not every time, just most times. So again, I'm not going to be right all the time. Sometimes Gale won't come down like this, and maybe this will be the bottom. But I've seen enough of these traps to know that, guess what? Most of the time, not necessarily every time, but most of the time, this kind of flatlining is a trap. And you don't want to dip by, even if the bid looks secure. Because you have to think what it looks like to everybody else. If everybody else thinks that it looks secure, then guess what? When that 274 cracks, it drops so quickly, you can't even get out. You have about three minutes, and granted, this is not a very volatile stock, so you only dropped, you know, 10, 15 cents, but you have three minutes 
to get out. So all of this bottoming, while it looks so secure, it's a fake out. And this is why most traders lose. This is why newbies lose again and again and again. And there is a good five or 10% of us who are experienced enough to know how to avoid these traps and to warn against these traps, okay? That's the beautiful thing. And now I'm not dip buying it because now you have this huge ceiling here at 270 and you still have a whole bunch of newbies. Even as I'm doing this video, you know, obviously my rule number one is cut losses quickly, but you have a whole bunch of newbies who are still stuck and maybe even some experienced traders who just aren't that smart uh, or haven't learned this lesson yet. And they're still stuck at 270 and they're holding and they're like, well, there's good news. Maybe I'll just hold and it might come back. And it very well might. And they'll learn the wrong lesson. They won't learn about getting trapped. They won't learn about cutting losses quickly. And they're going to continue trading randomly and getting random results. And that defines the fucking trading industry. Okay? The way that my millionaire students and I beat the odds, the way that we have made our millions is not necessarily always in a beautiful way where like the, the pattern is so perfect and we're right every time. Sometimes there is choppiness, but it's by looking at patterns and refining our process again and again and again. I would have probably gotten trapped in year one, year two, year three of this too. You know, if I was just starting and I had no guidance, I would be trapped. And again, it would only be, you know, I probably still would cut losses. I would probably only lose 10 or 15 cents and I might not even think about it. But Sometimes in a not so distant future where it could potentially be a bear market, the stock isn't going to drop just 10 or 15 cents. It might drop a dollar or two. And then these kinds of traps really do matter because, again, if you still hold this and you don't learn to cut losses quickly, even if you do get trapped, then you're not just losing a dollar or two. You could lose five dollars a share if it was a higher price stock and in a bear market. So it's a very slippery slope once you start making mistakes once you start getting trapped in plays like this and once you ignore rules. And that is why I'm such a big proponent of teaching. You know, people are like, oh, Tim, you talk about these sales all the time. Oh, you're just a marketer. You're damn right. I market education. I market my experience. I'm selling you my experience. I'm not pretending not to, okay? I'm not hiding from the fact. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm proud of it. Because my experience can save you money and make you money and make you wise. That is it. That is my business. I give plenty to charity. I teach. I have so many free videos. Freaking trader checklist should never have been free. This took me several months. But at the same time, if you want to be in my chat room, if you want this real-time commentary that can save you from these traps and can make you money, guess what? You're going to have to pay me a little bit. And it's a very small amount, especially with these holiday sales. And it's insane that there is any negativity whatsoever surrounding education. It's absolutely pathetic. And I'll tell you that straight to your face. Because teachers are the most underappreciated people in the entire world. Our society is so flawed. Our economy is so fucked up because of a lack of education and nothing more. If more people get educated, if more people learn from experienced traders, and not necessarily just trading, but just experienced, successful people who have seen the ins and the outs, then you can warn other people about little traps like that. You can stop wasting money. You can stop wasting time being confused and not knowing the right lessons. So I am very proud to market my experience and my education. And it is pathetic all the negativity that I see surrounding education, whether it's newsletters and DVD guides. And guess what? The DVD guides, you can watch it streaming. Some people are like, who says, who has DVDs? Some people like DVDs. Some people like it streaming. We have both. But it's all information. And it's life-changing information. And it's bank account-changing information. So you can feel free to ignore my rules. You can feel free to be as negative as you want and as confused as you want. But I am sharing every single thing that I've learned over the years. And it's only to help you. And it makes me very proud to be your teacher. And I'm very proud to offer these low prices to find this business model where we can literally pay for an entire year's worth of lessons in one trade. 
one good trade or helping you avoid one bad trade. So happy fucking Hanukkah. This is night number six and you just got educated. Shalom.